Greetings everyone. I apologize for the delay on the daily match on the uploads, but um, last three days I've been quite obsessed with the quality of my videos. I was almost sure that I already had videos with better quality in the past. These last ones were missing a bit on the frames per second, and I was just wondering what happened to my PC because it was working fine just before that, and I didn't change anything, but I actually found out it doesn't matter much now. I'm just glad that uh, the quality is going to get improved because with so many shoutcasters around and me not even being able to put up all the videos with ultra settings oh my god imba beautiful i guess i need to provide at least the best quality possible so i can actually uh, uh, awake people and make people feel interested by the video shoutcasted here so um i'm not gonna dwell much about it i'm gonna just let it pass doesn't matter i'm here to shoutcast this match not to whine about anything and this is a face-off here between this blue protoss rex and dark rex and dark Actually, that Rex is a guild from Warcraft 3, so I'm just wondering, I think he's like the only member of that guild that plays Starcraft 2. Or at least, well, the only one that has visibility. Because Rex and Dark already got qualified for the GSL Season 1. And he's a fairly good uh, Protoss player playing on the Korean servers. Uh, and he's facing here in Scrap Station the Red Terran Liquid Jinro. You guys probably have been he hearing about Liquid Jinro because he's been showing his skills lately. He won the MLG Dallas. He got qualified for the GSL Season 3 for the round of 64 along with his teammate Liquid Hey Pro and Liquid Red as well. Congratulations to all of them. And, uh, well, for the ones that don't know him, he is an old Brood War veteran. He already proved his skills in the past. He's a Swedish player, quite good, actually. But I think he was just having, like, a bad luck streak or something. And it seems like he's coming out of it and actually having the luck on his side and improving his uh, results. So, good for us. Another European showing up on the GSL and actually having some success. So I'm more than happy for it. Hopefully you're going to get some more Europeans and Americans showing up there in the future. So focusing a bit on the match and just forgetting the rest. As you can see, Zendark just going for a standard opening. There's the gateway going down and the cybernetic score. Meanwhile, here on Jinro's side, he went for the racks and he even has, look at him, he has this marine here on the corner <laughs> with all those rally points, he's making sure that he won't get cheesed with any proxy pylon anywhere, just making sure he's not going to be cheesed out of this match. Pretty cool stuff, General just uh, investigating every little corner, yeah, I think he's even going to this platform now. And meanwhile, interesting, he's going to place his factory on this position here, and usually by positioning it on this lo exact location, might be a sign that he's preparing to lift it off and fly into your opponent's base because as you can see the distance by air is fairly short so um you might consider to try to land it on the back on a place that um uh, zendark still doesn't have visibility and get some helens out maybe here or something like that or uh, even just fly and use it for scouting purposes there it is you um liquid general just took the gas there not long for like four or five seconds trying to be annoying and placing a fairly quick robotics facility still on, only working out of one gateway was gateway cybernetic score into robotics facility and meanwhile incoming factory flying into the base of rex and dark and i think he's planning on landing there it is but Zendark has visibility for that corner? I think so. I might be mistaken, but I guess we're going to see it pretty soon. Incoming factory, but oh, Zendark with these beautiful spider senses just tingling and went to place a pylon on that corner and instantly spotted the factory. Jinro cancelled the landing and I think he's now going to use it to fly over Zendark's base and take a look at what is he building. Yeah spotting everything while he crosses the base and it apparently Zendark getting more gateways so three gateways pretty soon and an observer coming out of that robotics facility meanwhile on Jinro's side he's gonna invest on some bench ass already the starport attached to the tech lab and just not much of a static defense a single bunker there uh, so get ready for some air assaults here while this factory flies into the natural expo and it's gonna land right on the spot where the nexus is supposed to be oh here comes Zendark too late one second too late and general just ninja landing there just ninja stealing that nexus very annoying and now Zendark is in trouble because he's gonna have his build delayed he's gonna have to take care of this pylon first uh, what else is he getting built here he's getting ready a command center so he's gonna prepare to get his expansion as well just like Zendark 
Zendark and the second starport going down on that corner. I'm not sure if Zendark even spotted that place, but I don't think so. Let's see his visibility. No, zero. He doesn't even know that that starport exists. And apparently, General might be going for some kind of heavy cavalry build here. Lots of flying units for, for him to get two starports this early in the match. I think he's going to invest on that. First Banshee approaching the main base got instantly fended off. No kills whatsoever. And this Observer still flying around, but there's a Raven almost coming out and that Raven will be able to detect it. General repairing his Banshee, making sure he's not gonna lose it anytime soon. And meanwhile the Observer just hanging here, so Zendark still not aware of this starport here on this corner. So um, I hope that that will benefit General. Here comes the Raven, there's the Observer, so this Raven just spotted it and is gonna push him away, shove him away from the base and finish off any kind of annoyance, any kind of scouting for Zendark. Fend it off, shoo, and now once again the Banshee advancing into the main base from uh, Zendark by the movement seems like he's gonna approach on the north side and try to poke at that mineral line. Meanwhile the expansion from Zendark going down and instantly picking up both the simulators and look at the amount of uh, probes that Zendark already had prepared to transfer here. Really impressive. Incoming Banshee still zero kills. Sh this Banshee needs some kills to actually be worth the minerals that were invested. One kill two kills and three kills well that's something i guess and he's gonna live for another day to try the, uh, its luck another day meanwhile uh general just landing his orbital command on the natural expo so working out of two bases pretty soon as well and getting more racks out so for now three racks on general one with the tech lab we're gonna have some m m here i would say and probably combined with a lot of air units Keep in mind that um, those uh, Ravens are really effective against Protoss players. The point defense drone can just hold a lot of shots from the Stalkers and it's very useful. Meanwhile this Banshee trying to destroy that probe that I think was uh, Zendark attempt to get the mineral field, the rich mineral field and establish a base there but got caught. And now he's going into a Banshee uh, in, with that Phoenix, going for some Phoenix play, applying the pressure. There it is, two Phoenixes already out, shoving away all the air units from Jinro. They're very effective as a counter for those Banshees and he already has two of them flying around. So apparently Zendark will be investing on his map control. If he's able to micro them properly he's going to be able to lift up some of those units on the natural expo on the mineral line or just fly around and make sure that they don't get shot down. Phoenixes are fairly quick and useful. Oh, this is going to shoot the Raven. This is going to be a big blow on Generals, but no, excellent micro there. Instantly placing the point defense drone, holding all the shots from that, uh, from, from those Phoenixes and the Raven survived. Whoa, impressive move there. And meanwhile, I think that Zendark is going to approach this time on the left side of the natural expo lifting the mules and just gonna hurt those mules there's what three mules there two killed and he's gonna kill the third one oh so much energy and so much so many minerals lost there on that occasion nice move by those phoenixes from zendark just hurting the econ game let's take a look how things are econ, econ wise yeah zendark leading the way at the moment though the harvester count is similar but uh, since Jinro is working out of two bases i'm pretty sure that soon enough he's gonna be able to balance the income and get close especially if he gets more mules coming out to balance the income for now there's a bit of an advantage there by Zendark might be reflecting on a couple more units on his army count but uh, hopefully he's gonna be able to um Jinro is going to be able to hold against Zendark's offensive. He's preparing his advance here while Jinro is destroying the rock, so it seems like he's going to advance into this corner corridor. Army count fairly similar, 99, 103, and on the build you see already Zendark going for some Colossus play while he advances with his Phoenixes. I think he's going to go into the mineral line once again, and oh, shooting a lot of SCVs, there's nothing here to defend apparently. Picking up already 4 SCVs and running out, I think he's gonna pull back and make sure he's gonna be able to help out his units here on this offensive. Gino has a lot of air units as well and like I was saying, there's the robotics bay already getting uh, some colossi out and the extended thermal lance and incoming the forces from Gino. I will have to take this HP bars out, I'm sorry, because there's a lot of flying units and just clumps all those bars together. And here comes first advance, trying to poke at those phoenixes with the um, with the Vikings and there's a lot of air units here. Look at the amount of Banshees and Vikings to back up. 
I think that Jinro was just trying to make a tailor-made army against the unit composition from Zendark. He has Vikings to counter the Colossi, also effective against Phoenixes, and has the Banshees to back up his big Marine Marauder Ball, even bringing SCVs to repair the units on the fly. And here they come, big push, focusing fire, I would say, on this Colossi would be the good option. Advancing slowly into them, look at how fast the Colossi go down, shields up to try to fend, to fend off most of the damage that uh, General is trying to make. Just the shields went down, both Colossi lost, and now the Stalkers facing against that big Marine Marauder Ball, grinding them down, while the Phoenix's beautiful play just microing those uh, Marauders, keeping them all at bay, off the fight, and that point defense drone was trying to help as well, but seems like that General lost his first battle here, and is just pulling with all of his Banshees into the Mineral Line on the Natural Expo, trying to make uh, some damage while he can, because he basically lost all of his army there, was very nasty offensive, Another Banshee advancing into the mineral line here, but there's a Photon Cannon defending. And meanwhile, there's still the other Banshees with a lot of kills already, 7 and 6 kills. And another move here with a small group of Marines and Marauders focusing fire on these pylons. And uh, Zandark pulling another Colossi and some Stalkers to back up the defense. While the Banshees, as you can see, are just spreading out of the base. There's not much for them to destroy here anymore, as you can see. And the Phoenixes has been flying around trying to put them off. Another Banshee here is going to get instantly killed. And these two need to be careful. One is already advancing into the mineral line once again. But there's no probes here for the kill. They're getting transferred just now, and these uh, phoenixes are going to finish it off so quickly. There's still one um, banshee alive here, just flanking all the way on the east side, making sure that he's going to survive to fight another day. But apparently, on the army count, there might be some of uh, some gap now. Zandark has 69, and Gino is on 88, 92. So apparently, Gino is just focusing and massing up a big army once again, faster than Zandark is able to. Here comes the banshee once again poking at those probes and a big wing of phoenix is going to finish it off going for the cloak is there any observer around there's an observer approaching it's going to be on range and these phoenixes are going to kill it so fast oh no chance for that uh, that Banshee. And now what's happening to Zendark's army? He doesn't have much. He's not re recovering as fast as Jinro is. And as you can see, there's already a red blob on the minimap. So Jinro will be approaching pretty soon. He's already advancing with his forces while the Phoenixes try to pick up more SEVs and hurt the economy from Jinro. But I think that Jinro is not very worried about it at the moment. He's just going to make a final push here into the uh, natural expo and main base from Zendark. Zendark doesn't have much of a defense. Nice Marine Marauder Ball backed up once again by Banshees and two Vikings making sure he's gonna have some way of just putting those Colossus down really quickly. Finally pulling his Phoenixes back to back up his army. There's not much left. Just a couple of, st of, couple of Stalkers while Jinro advances with his Marine Marauder Ball. Nice micro there holding a lot of Marauders in the air but wasn't enough. And Zendark just GG's out of the match when Jinro finally reaches gates on the main base. Look at the amount of work pace that you're already had here but well it wasn't enough and there was a moment there close to the end of the game where you could obviously see General's army growing fast and Zendark was just holding there so I guess he just paid for it he didn't have enough big enough army Colossi just left there and the GG's out of the match even another command center getting ready there for the third expansion well I hope you guys enjoyed this match I see you all later and I'm gonna upload it as fast as possible have fun <laughs>